hello. Um, I'll just start right on off here and start with showing you these. The, this is the semaphore alphabet. That's when people use flags like these and hold them in different positions to mean different letters. This was useful for ships out at sea, but they didn't have instant communication. They couldn't pick up the telephone and, and call. They had to like talk from distances, and how they did that was to hold these flags up in different positions, and they spelled out letters. So um, anyway, let's get right into it. This, my friend, Sunshine, and she keep. She's going to demonstrate two letters for you. The first one is N. See, we got the, you stand there with your arms down with flags like that. Okay. Next one is D. One straight up, one straight down. Got that? Okay. If she had four arms, she could do them both at the same time and she would look like this. Isn't that nice? It's kind of messy though. So if we just take the basic lines, you know, here, here, you know, up and down, what we get is this. Ta da! See? Being you know, straight up and down and holding the out like that. So um, we have N. This is nuclear D. Disarmament. So this symbol means nuclear disarmament. Of course, that means peace through nuclear disarmament. It isn't a broken cross, like some people said. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's a cross. It's broken. It's, it's, it's perverted. It's a symbol of evil. It's nasty. Uh, it's not. It simply means nuclear disarmament. Okay, it's um, not a fashion statement, but uh, I do like to wear this symbol to just to have that symbol on me, peace through nuclear disarmament. And uh, it was a good dream back then, you know? And it still is. You can say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Give it a chance. <laughs> 